What used to be known as Bemidji's old train station and Union Station restaurant located in the downtown area has been purchased by new owners and renamed to Union Station Thrift. Reporter Emma Hudziak has more. New owners Rebecca and Mark Wilkowski were originally searching for a storage property for Mr. Wilkowski's other business last summer. It wasn't until they stopped by Giovanni's Pizza for lunch when they noticed a for sale sign on the building next door. And we liked the building, thought we could do something more than just storage with it. So over the course of a weekend, we actually went from looking for storage to it became a building for me. Um, and we put in an offer on Friday afternoon. They accepted it, I think, t maybe Tuesday morning. And on Wednesday, it, it was done. Like, we, had, we were able to close within two weeks. So it all went really fast. <laughs> Wilkowski shared that the thrift store itself was a pretty sporadic thing, but with her husband's current business, Books and More, having a thrift store vibe, their new business was somewhat of an extension of that. We have everything from kids' clothing, adult clothing, household items. Um, we've even gotten like fishing poles. Um, we've got furniture. There's not a whole lot that we haven't tried to sell yet. <laughs> um, the only thing we're not really doing is large appliances, mattresses, box springs, stuff like that. The building itself has been around since 1911 and has roughly 5,000 square feet of retail space. Though it has been regutted various times throughout the years, the owners worked hard to keep most of the station's original aesthetics, including the trimming, doors, and the nostalgic glass windows everyone remembers. And to help out with the community, Wilkowski said that once a month her business will be donating 10% of their gross sales to various nonprofit or charity organizations around Bemidji. Reporting in Bemidji, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. Union Station Thrift opened their doors on April 18th and they're accepting drop-off donations from the community. More information on business hours and event updates can be found on their Facebook page. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.